Well, hello YouTubers, this is Jim Craig with Planet of Mystery bringing you another tutorial. Recently I created an animated GIF for a friend who wanted to know how it was done and I told him it would be quicker to do it than it would be to explain it. Well, I've decided that I'm going to explain it. So you can use any video source that you've got that can be imported into Blender, which means uh, MPEG files, uh, AVI files, movie files, uh, FLV you know, for the flash video. A lot of different file types can be imported. Um, I've decided that I'm going to make an animated GIF from the Blender rendered film, Big Buck Bunny. And you can see where I download here. If you want to duplicate exactly what I've done, uh, my recommendation is that you do this with your own video, something else that you've got that you've downloaded or created yourself if you want to make an animated GIF. But what I've done is, because this doesn't have to be very high resolution, I just picked a low res, so you know, 480 progressive stereo. I've already downloaded that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Blender. And uh, every once in a while, if uh, the sound goes out or I stop, it's because I need uh, both hands to type. I actually have to hold the microphone in my left hand in order for this to work. We're going to start with the video sequence editor. So once you've opened Blender, you open the video sequence editor. And I like to see what I'm working on as well as the timeline here. So I always click on this. So your video will show up in the upper window that I'm outlining here. And then your video sequence um, will be represented graphically down below. So we're going to add a video. So hit Shift A and add movie. And I've already got this here in my tutorial. So there it is, Big Buck Bunny 480p. And apparently it outputs at uh, 24 frames per second. And I like to have this at the same length. I like to set my end video or end frame at the same. That way, for some reason, I should skip to the end. I haven't gone off the end of my video. So I'm going to find just a short segment here that I want to animate. Um, we can just play through by hitting Alt A. Now you will not get sound in an animated GIF. But that's not the segment I want. The segment I want, wanted earlier was the was Buck's reaction to something that happens. And that's going to be right in there. So it is at about 3 minutes, 14 seconds, and 13 frames. So it's not exactly. So I want to see by using my right arrow key. Okay, so that happens at 3 minutes, 14 seconds, and 17 frames, which is frame 4673. So if I try to render out four six, you know, this frame onward, when I take it into the software that I use for creating the GIF, it's going to cause some problems. So I do a little shortcut here. I hit G for go, X because I want to move in the X direction, then minus four, six, seven, two. Now if I hit my rewind button, which is this one on the left, the first frame of the video is exactly the frame I want. If I go one frame back, so that's a frame zero, but we're gonna start outputting at frame one. And now we have to figure out where we want it to end. So I'm gonna zoom in by scrolling my mouse wheel. And I want the end of his reaction. So there he's shocked. Oh. So that is at frame 124. So I'm gonna have it re render from frame one to 124. Now I need this to be, give that a JPEG out. It could be a PNG out, which is a portable network graphics image. I just want to use JPEG because it doesn't take up much space. These files will be deleted eventually anyway. Now we have to give it a directory, and I happen to pick one called GIF in my tutorial. Hit B. We're just going to give it a file, again, temporary file name B. 
And now rendering this is really easy. Just go up to animation. And the rendering is done. So we can actually close Blender now and go to our command line. So you open up a command window. If it dir star dot jpg, I'm going to do slash p so you can see it page through them. See, it starts on frame 0001. If you hit your space bar, it ends on frame 124, or 0124. So now we have to type in a rather complicated command line. The first thing we need to do is generate a palette. Animated GIFs only use 256 colors, and you don't want it to have to generate a new palette for each frame. So we're going to have it generate a palette, figuring out what the best color combination is to get all the colors represented properly using that, two, or at least close to properly, using that 256 color palette. So we start by generating the palette. And the command line for that, by the way, we're going to use FFmpeg. Uh, that's a freeware uh, command line based encoding program that I've used for encoding videos for planetariums, uh, my YouTube videos, all of that sort of thing. Use FFmpeg to encode them if I'm using single frames or sometimes if I just have it in one format and I want to convert it to another. It's a really versatile program and I will put the link to it below. So we and make sure this is in your uh, command path. If you don't know how to do that, that's beyond the scope of anything I want to do right here, right now. So look up how to add something to your command path. I found the easiest way on, in a Windows program. You can do this on the Mac. You can do this in Linux. I'm, I just happen to be using Windows right now. Uh, FFmpeg and Blender are both cross-compatible. So it doesn't matter which operating system you're using. It's going to be a very similar process. And the command line is going to be identical. So with FF mpeg you have to give it an input and that input is going to be b it's gonna be difficult again try and type here with one hand percent zero four d dot j p g and what that liter what that means basically is that it is going to go sequentially from the first frame zero zero one to the last one anything that has that pattern of digits that are four decimal long. Uh, we're going to have it warn us if we do something wrong. So verbose is what that dash V stands for. Warning. And now we're going to use the video filter. And this goes in quotes. We give it a, a frame rate. FPS equals 15. I think that's a colon. No, it's a comma. Going to scale it, and a good size for an animated GIF is 320 across. And this minus one in the next just basically tells it to use this as your basic scaling and scale the other, you know, this is your X dimension, scale your Y dimension accordingly. And then we need to set some flags. And the first flag this L A N C Z O S is a type of compression for picking the palette. And we need to tell it to generate the palette. So P A L E T T. That's generate the palette. Later we'll tell it to use the palette. Now we hit dash Y. That way, uh, the dash Y, if you leave that out, if your pal if that picture of what you're generating already exists, it will ask you, do you want to overwrite it? This does it automatically. Now you can call this whatever you want, but just for memory's sake, I call it palette. Oops. And that's a PNG file. Now, if I've done everything right, if I hit enter, okay, I obviously have not done, oh, and this is a good example of having to type everything exactly as it's supposed to be. That's dash I for your input. And there it goes. Now I'm going to fire up uh, GIMP, which is a good piece of software. 
Get file, open, let's go D, tutorial, GIF, palette. There's a little tiny picture there. We're going to zoom in on that. Those are all of the colors that are going to be used in this animated GIF. There are 256, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 by 16, so that's 256. But we don't need to actually open up. That's just to take a look to see what's going on there. So now we have to create the GIF, and the command line structure is very similar, but we have to add some things and change a couple things. So we start off F M P E G. Oops, see, gotta type carefully. Dash I B percent zero four D dot J P. G. And then we're going to add an additional input of that palette picture that we generated. That will tell it which palette to use. And again, we like it to warn us if something goes wrong, if we've done something wrong. So verbose warning. Now a different, slightly different kind of filter. We're going to do dash L A V F. I, I don't know exactly why it does that, but it works. We get our quote. Now we'll set our frame rate. FPS equals 15, comma, set our scale again. We want to work with the same parameters we had earlier. Again, use that L A N C Z O S. I'm not. Oops. So we're setting our flags. Equal L A N C Z. Oops. And here's where it starts getting different. And I don't know what this does. I just know it works. So we use a bracket X close bracket semicolon space bracket x square bracket these are this uh, close square bracket then another one colon v then the close oops then the close square bracket and tell it we need to use the palette so p a l e t t e use it quote Tell it, yes, we if it's there, we want to overwrite it, and then give it an output name. So BBB for Big Buck Bunny dot G I F. Hit enter, and hopefully I've typed everything correctly. Looks like I have. So let's come to our browser. I'm going to hit Control O to open a new file, and there is our animated GIF playing back at the proper speed and working exactly like it's supposed to. So this is going to continue to cycle. And it's really as simple as that. And as I said before, you can use any video file that you've already got or that you download and make sure to be careful about copyrights. You know, this is, uh, this is an open source movie. So I, they're pretty much okay with my using it like this. Um, but you know, do be careful of people's copyrights, but you can create your own animated GIFs. Now, if you need a GIF with a transparent background and all of that, that's well beyond, uh, the scope of this. But if you create something that you have, you know, if you, if, first of all, if you like this, let me know. And if you create something that you're pleased with, that you're proud of, uh, send me a link, uh, post it down below. Um, I'd be happy to take a look at it. So hopefully you'll find this useful and usable. Uh, thanks for watching.